Hello everyone. Uh, so I basically just found out that you can now use the Canva MCP server. That basically is an MCP server for Canva. And I cannot wait to try it out. So I'm going to be using Goose. Goose has a new UI, by the way. So if I haven't tried it out, definitely check it out. So what can you do with the Canva MCP server? You can basically generate Canva applications. Yep. Canva MCP server successfully installed. Okay, okay. This is my bad. This is my bad chat. It is a dev MCP server. It's not, it's not exactly like... Yeah, we installed the wrong one, chat. Oh my God. We installed the wrong one. Should have been Canva MCP server. I went to the Canva dev MCP server. Don't make that mistake, chat. Don't make that mistake. So, rewind, scratch. Let's see. It's kind of like different from the last one. Uh, add a custom extension. Streamable HTTP. Canva. Endpoint URL is this. Timeout this. We don't need add extension all right so the first thing it is going to ask me to authorize just after installing that extension which is brilliant and so let's go back to goose canva is successfully activated awesome and get design manage can i even generate i can generate designs with ai okay so what we're going to do now is i'm going to say can you make a youtube template with canva titled how to use canva mcp server so let's see what happens with this. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, finger crossed. All right, I'll be create a YouTube thumbnail using Canva's design generation capabilities. We use the Canva generate design tool to create a professional looking thumbnail. Let's see what that was gonna look like. I wonder if it's using just the AI directly. So it generated, create a professional YouTube thumbnail with the title. Use modern textile design with blue and white color scheme, which is probably in line with the Canva uh, styling, style guide. Include several code icons, make the text bold. And it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. This is working on it, chat. Let's see how that goes. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, okay. Um, four different YouTube thumbnail designs. Oh, okay. Let's see. This is the first one. Okay, this is the first preview. Let's see the second one interesting third one oh not too shabby i guess we can always customize some of these things uh, and then the fourth one eh, eh, eh. <laughs> all right so i can actually now go to the, the actual design files by clicking on this place so it takes me to canva and then i can move it around uh this is a pro image but basically i think i like the the fourth one best uh yeah i think i can i can probably start kind of like designing a style with this one from the beginning but in normal day i think the best thing that this will save me mostly for would be if i'm like working with goose for example and i'm coming up with a script doing all the customizations and i'm like or writing a blog post and in that moment i just tell it do all of this and generate an image for it especially if i have a template in, already in my Canva, for example that will be really smooth. It just does all of that entire process. So shout out to Canva for having this MCP uh, server set up. And I just showed you guys also how you can set it up on Goose. Uh, let me know the things that you created it. See you guys next time.